So this is what you might see early on. Those little spots are called pustules. Your dog can have more than one and they usually pop up on or around the incision. But you should also know what to look out for before these pustules appear. You might notice some extra warmth emanating from the incision area and it might be a bit redder than in previous days. Sometimes it's the incision itself that looks problematic. So you might not see pustules at all. Now you can see an example of this in the picture on the upper right. Do you notice how the incision there is swollen and red and it's no longer tightly closed? Like the left and the right side of the incision isn't touching anymore. That's a problem. As infections progress, and this can happen rather quickly, pustules can burst. It's not necessarily a bad thing because then the pus can drain. So let's go to the next slide. So this is the stage where the incision or pustules begin looking moist or goopy. The drainage you see here is pus. It looks thick and can range in color from beigeish yellow to white. If untreated, infections can rapidly and dramatically worsen. Let's see what that looks like. These pictures show copious amounts of drainage. Infections are painful and they can extend as deep as your dog's bones and to the level of the implant. So that's why contacting your veterinary team ASAP is so important.